first year vocal exam now i am going to tell the, the what's the syllabus hmm? first year vocal exam vandu 1 to 14 syllabus a irukum in elementary any one but in first year you have to sing all the syllabus is 1 to 14 irukku liya ellame paadano with three speeds okay ha huh? any exercise they may ask you is all examiner's choice there is no your choice okay elementary is all your choice hmm but in first year it's all examiners they will ask you to sing ha huh? and then uh, they may ask you to sing in reverse order like for third speed second speed first speed ha huh? understand they may pick one exercise and ask you to sing third speed second usually you sing in first speed second speed third speed isn't it that's the actual right R- regularly you will be practice like that you know huh? so they may ask you to sing uh, one exercise only huh? not all one exercise they may ask they may huh? okay uh, last time kettar yaro adnal solra okay third speed second speed first speed adu huh? reverse order then 10 to 14 in exercise na varasiya third speed paadu sari ga ma pa ga ma pa pa ga ma pa da ni da pa ma ga ma pa ga ma ga re sa ni da ni da pa da pa ma pa pa ga ma pa da ni da pa ma ga ma pa ga ma ga re sa 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 ni da ni ni da pa da da pa ma pa pa ga ma pa da ni da pa ma ga ma pa ga ma ga re sari ga ri ga ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ma pa da pa da ni da pa ma pa da pa ma ga re sari ga ma pa pa da da pa ma ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa like this understand is it clear to you okay this is one idu ella varse ah and then uh, i forgot to tell you all prayers are all prayers ella prayer you must able to tell like before food which prayer you are tell before sleeping ah brahma arpanam illa before sleeping ramam skandam correct before uh, study when the ganesha saraswati guru you must and ganapati you must pray isn't it so these are basic you know daily prayers eh? you must know all prayers okay and then uh, raghavendra swami prayer they may ask manojavam marut tulya vegam is belong to which deity hanuman hanuman correct it's like that eh? so vice versa they may ask you uh, they, they they will uh, tell you the prayer and you must uh, uh, tell the deity name or they will ask you the deity name so the respective prayer you must chant you understand huh eh? so like this eh? all the prayers but in elementary only one prayer you know eh? okay only one prayer but this is all examiner choice only again okay all right okay. then janti was say minimum 3 minimum ha eh? only 3 ha eh? there are nine janti was say but they will ask you two or three that's all but three speeds eh? mind it ha eh? three speeds ha eh? so there is a two pattern of singing janti was say you know from ga second speed from ni third speed or full first speed full second speed full third speed other madre other you know ha huh? right but the both the patterns you should able to sing confidently okay right ah uh, suppose janti was number 2 if you take sa sa ri ri ga ga ma ma ri ri ga ga ma ma pa pa ga ga ma ma pa pa so this is ga second speed from ni third speed or they may ask you to sing only third speed Sir, second one just third speed part abdicate part so what you do sa sa ri ri ga ga ma ma ri ri ga ga ma ma pa pa ga ga ma ma immediately must take the third speed you know without struggling okay confidently no just second speed sa sa ri ri ga ga ma ma huh third exercise third speed sa 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 ri sa sa ri sa sa ri ga ga ma ma ri ri ga ri ri ga ri ga ri without delay you must able to start 
you know is it clear so that confidence level you have to build up is it clear so less exercise only not more but you have to practice confidently the clarity is very important shruti and layam is very important okay no? all right is it clear to you children yes and then minimum minimum five songs okay so sarala vase aachi genti vase aachi songs minimum five so we are talking about which syllabus first, first year syllabus first year syllabus huh? okay minimum five songs you should know the composer name raga name huh? okay tala name huh? just singing and then swaram also the song suppose if you are singing guru guha sarasija okay the uh, swara sahityam is guru guha sarasija right what is the sahitya uh, swaram of this sa sa ga ga okay so you should able to sing in madhyam shruti it is a madhyam shruti song it is not a normal pitch song why you have to sing in madhyam shruti because this is a very low pitch song so you put it in madhyama and sing it sounds good so you should able to immediately quickly you should able to operate the shruti shruti box you should know how to change to madhyama and back to normal and all uh, if you don't know then he will not do for you you know he is not your assistant okay you should able to do it you should learn how to switch to madhyama shruti ha huh? breathe uh, uh, understanding are you ha huh? okay so how to operate the shruti box you should know right this not it will not come in the elementary this is for the first year only okay you should able to operate how to change to madhyamam which are the madhyama song which is a normal pitch song ha huh? okay so for this all this uh, there is a mark you know ha huh? for every thing there is a you will get a marks huh? points you know okay if you sing in normal pitch is gone the guru guha if you sing in normal it won't sounds good it will get less mark if you change to madhyamam oh then exam will be very happy oh she has got some knowledge very good gnanam very good the shruti gnanam everything ha huh? all this they will is an advantage you know okay is it clear to you children yes. okay then uh, minimum five so just i told you only one song guru guha like this is so many song ganga jatadara ha huh? uh, so much kandam right all this hey my hey, all this madhyam shruti song okay normal normal pitch song um, shamale meenakshi ha huh? uh, what else ganesh sharanam okay ganesh sharanam pahi ramachandra correct pahi ramachandra what is the ragam see nobody knows shankar bana ragam who is the composer sri tyagaraja right and then their signature sri tyagaraja swami gil tyagaraja is the signature that is the mudra and then you should know exam i will ask you uh, why this is Uh, belong to tyagaraja so tyagaraja name appears in this song that pai ramachandra if guru guru appears that is shri mutu swami dikshit isn't it and then if uh, shama krishna appears this is shama shastri right huh? so if purandara vitala comes that is shri purandara dasar composition isn't it huh? so you should know that this signature okay so you should able to identify uh, you should able to tell in first year at least okay okay you got the syllabus you got the picture proper syllabus eh? are you able to understand hmm okay good then apart from trinities and uh, purandar dasar you have to, should able to identify few composers like mysore vasudeva choir koteshwar ayer jaydeva kavi ha huh? okay shri papanasham shivan you know ha huh? uttukar venkat subayar hm swati swati tirunal is a king of uh, tirvankur 
Kerala, this, huh? you know, okay, you, you should not stick to the only trinities, you know, huh? uh, getting in first year, you should explore more, you know, they will expect more, you know, huh? is it clear, uh, huh? okay, the chart, they will, they will identify, and then they may ask uh, uh, the Carnatic music instrument again, in other way, which are the percussion instrument, which are the string instrument, which are the blowing instrument, is it clear? Hmm? Okay, which are the instruments use, will use for the uh, part kacheri, like a vocal concert, which are the accompanying instruments? Yeah. Uh, the okay. Uh, violin. Uh, that's when very main in supporting instrument, you know. Uh, uh, um, Brudangam, okay, part kacheri, gadu main pa, okay. Uh, harmonium which were on a violin and brudangam is a main supporting instrument for vocal concert any carnatic music concert okay so like this you may some uh, general questions will be there for first year level okay uh, is it clear to you carnatic yes. uh, uh, musical instruments identification of course it's there and then uh, picture memory of the music composers also will be there huh? okay these are the syllabus for first year was it clear to you yes. any doubts in this yes. huh? and then Saptaswaras Saptaswaras you all know what are Saptaswaras These subtas are related to English notes. What are the English notes? C, D, E, F, G. What are you telling Jilebi? Who? Oh, somebody I heard Jilebi. She. Oh. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Before Bangkok. Understand? Huh? Huh. C D C for Shajam D Rishabham like that. Huh? These are English notes C D E F G A B. Understand? Huh. And then Prakruti and Vikruti Swaras. What are the Prakruti and Vikruti Swar? Why they called as Prakruti and Vikruti? Anybody? Huh. Prakruti. Vigamadani. Huh. Rigamadhani. Rigamadhani. That is, uh, they are known as Prakriti Swaras because uh, they cannot differ and they are known as Vikruti Swaras and they can differ. And then it's also called Prakriti Swaras are Achala Swaras. Understand? Achala, which cannot move. Understand? The Chala Swaras are Vikruti Swaras. There is another name. Clear? Variations. variations. Understand? Rigamadhani, you can have. Re one, re two, re three, da one, da two, da three, ni one, ni two, and ma one, ma two. Understand? There are two types of ma. Clear? The later stage you will learn. Understand? And then, next is what is raga? What is raga? Raga means set of swaras arranged in arohanam and avrohanam. Understand? What is arohana and avrohanam? Upper note, which is the upper note? Which is the lower note? See, ascending order of swaras is arohanam, descending order of swaras, avrohanam. We can say from adara shajja to tar shajja, swaras is arohanam. Understand? Descending order of swaras from tar shajja to adara shajja. Clear? This is the correct answer. Understand? For example, Arona Arona example, you take any raga like Maya Malagola, Shankarabarana, clear? And then there are two types of ragas. Anybody knows two types? What are the two types of ragas? 
there are two types one is janaka raga and jenni raga clear so janaka ragas in janaka ragas are those where you can see all the sapta swaras in both in arona and avrohanam sarigama padanisa sanidapa magrisa like maria mavala shankara varna all sarigama padanisa is there while coming also sanidapa magrisa understand clear in order is all called janaka ragas parent ragas understand it's called parent ragas clear but in if you take a malahari the gita number 1 malahari ragam is a part of maya malgula is a child raga some swaras missing in arohanam and avrohanam the scale says sari ma pada sa sada pa ma gari sa clear understand sari ma pada sa sada pa ma gari sa so it's a part of maya malgula ragam malahari clear this is janya ragam totally janaka ragas are 72 janya ragas we don't know enada ena yeah infinity yeah we don't know many many ragas are there clear we cannot say this much eh? more than 1000 even more than 1000 eh? clear understand 72 parent ragas meda karta ragas sampurna ragas are janaka ragas janya ragas infinity we don't know clear example janya raga example mohana amsadvani malahari clear understand shruti mata laya pita what is that mean shruti and layam shruti means pitch bass note it's a bass note for a song for every song you need a bass note that is a shruti that will be you can find out with a shruti box a tambura and you in keyboard you you put your own shruti that's your minus 3 transpose minus 3 that means a pitch okay then you put the sa sa you put the you see so you catch the sa a sa so that is the bass note that's called the shruti okay moment you catch the bass note the sa then rest you can easily catch up sa ri ga ma rest you can catch up if the sa you cannot catch you cannot catch, catch any note understand so sa is the bass note so f- bass note for a, any song is called shruti pitch shruti shruti is not a girl name shruti is a pitch understand ha huh? shruti means bass note for any song either it is in hindustani music or carnatic music doesn't matter okay the shruti means pitch to get the pitch what you do you you put the switch on the shruti box hmm huh? so in the keyboard you keep your own pitch so pitch will vary from person to person male pitch female pitch understand for kids like in your age the pitch will be a understand understand the uh, the girls and boys pitch will be a in this age so once the age the boys will uh, uh, be around 15 then the boys will break you know uh, at that time the, ch- the pitch will turn to the male pitch you understand so till the kids age the both girls and boys will pitch will be the same like a g sharp you can sing so this is the pitch part pitch means shruti the layam the second one is layam laya means rhythm ha huh? laya means rhythm you know rhythm what is rhythm what is laya mm-hmm. laya means musical tempo for a song isn't it musical tempo so what do you do for the musical tempo talam uh, while singing you put talam on your lap with the right hand isn't it adi talam ek talam right ha huh? so that gives the musical tempo it gives the grip to sing a song isn't it so in keyboard what you do 
you put the metronome right with the 90 tempo or 80 tempo or something and you put beats ding chak ding chak the bhajan beat is there the guitar pop beats is there so for each song you change the beat to make the color, uh, the song uh, so song wonderful isn't it yes. yeah different different talam different different beats different tempo so you will follow the tempo the musical tempo you will not drag you will not uh, run so you maintain the tempo throughout the song isn't it so you play first speed second speed third speed within the tempo right yes ah if the sarigama is first speed the second speed will be accordingly with the same the temp- tala will be constant one two three four one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven isn't it the yes. tala tala remains constant isn't it tala will won't change sa ri sa ri you will never change the talam the tala remains same but the swaram's allotment will change so that is why shruti is called as a mata shruti is like a mother the tala is like a father pita understand so music is a combination of shruti and layam okay shruti is like a mata and laya like a pitta understand so music is a combination of shruti and layam okay okay what is lagu ni sollu na kishan what is lagu Lagu means one beat followed by finger counting, maybe three or four or five or seven or nine, nine. counting. Do you understand? If it is three counting, it is called Nishajati. If it is four, Chaturujajati. If it is five, Pandajati. If it is seven, Nishajati. If it is nine, Sankirnajati. Sankirnajati, you put Sankirnajati. How to put Sankhya Nidhati? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Understand? 9. If it is 5, how to put 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Understand? If it is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. If it is 3, 1, 2, 3. Clear? Is it clear to you? Okay, what is this called? This is Lagu. Isn't it? You all did just now is Lagu. Isn't it? Lagu, five variations. The symbol is one. Isn't it? What is Drutam? Drutam Mena? Solo Nina? Wong. Drutam Chapur. Yeah. Ah, one bit and with the hand. Turning the hand. This is Drutam. Like this. If you put like this, it's called Drutam. One Drutam consists of how many beats? How many beats? Two beats. Correct. Two beats. Either consists of how many Drutams? Huh? Two Drutams. Understand? One two tokens serve two beats and I tell can serve two drutams. Is it clear? Yes or no? Ah. Which tala doesn't have drutam? Ekta correct, very good. Understand? So uh, a drutam symbol is huh? zero. Understand? Dutta symbol is 0, Lagu symbol is 1. Is it clear? Understand? What is, what is the next one? What is the next important ta- part of Talam? Anudruta. Uh, it's like a smiley symbol. Understand? Understand? So this is, this, this 
લઘુ ધ્રુતમ અનુધૃતમ લઘુ સિમ્બલ વન ધ્રુત સિમ્બલ ઝીરો અનુધૃત સિમ્બલ ઇઝ પ્રેઝન્ટ ઇઝ ઇટ ક્લિયર ઓકે સી देयर આર હાઉ મેની તાળાસ સેવન તાળાસ ઇઝ ઇટ રાઈટ સેવન તાળાસ એન્ડ ધેન વોટ આર ધ સેવન તાળાસ ઉપતા 8 એક આન્ડ સેન સો each tala has got its own structure basic symbols while writing the kartik music notations the basic symbols means single vertical line double vertical line single comma semicolon dot above the note below the note okay thus all this will come while writing the notation what do you mean by notation notation means so for, while singing the while playing the song i write something right yes. says so the riga riga i uh, if you see the my script huh? notation means the script huh? that contains comma semicolon right single yes. vertical and double lat- vertical line huh? so you can read properly right sasari riga gari for that ga kama will be there that means one akshara kala you must ex- extend suppose if you see the x number 5 sar level say sari gama pa sari pa kama is there so pa kama means one akshara kalam right so pa like that right suppose pa kama kama means what என்ன பாயிண்டே இருக்கேப்பா அப்படி எல்லாம் இல்ல பா காம காம மீன்ஸ் பா ஓகே த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் டோட்டலி த்ரீ பா யூ கெட் டி யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அபை குட் யூ சி அனுஷ்கா ஆர் யூ கெட்டிங் சி பா காம மீன்ஸ் ஹவு மெனி பா யூ கெட் டூ கொரெக்ட் ஐ அப்ரிஷியேட் பிருத்வி குட் very good give me a high five see pa comma means the pa and comma together we call it as two suppose pa comma comma 1 2 3 you understand <laughs> instead of two comma you can put a one semicolon okay suppose pa semicolon means pa understand now in your book the semicolon is not that they everywhere you can see the comma only no semicolon in olden days the semicolon was to used to use even now in some script you can see the semicolon semicolon is like this one comma and above that there is a dot that is called semicolon you see mm-hmm. understand the one semicolon equal to two akshara kalas one comma is equal to one akshara kalam okay then single vertical line double vertical line i already explained you the single vertical line splits the lagu and dhrutam double vertical lines ends the talam right or wrong right right good see sarigama padanisa after sarigama padanisa double vertical line right yes. or single vertical line double, double you see right that means the tala over tala ends or cycle end huh all right yes prithvi are you getting yes good okay next dot above the note below the note what do you mean by above the note below the note pranav can you explain please above the note means it is higher pitch higher pitch higher, higher upper sthayi ha upper sthayi 
yeah you can so that's you can if you see the dot above the sa you must play there not here you see sa that's correct yeah correct if the same sa with the two dots you have to play somewhere here this one okay the saw below the note if you see it uh, dot below that sa where you have to play correct that's exactly correct right now good you understood clearly very good so in sa pa sa we say sa pa sa pa sa pa you see that pa pa where is that pa they are pa lo ya pa so you have to put a dot below the note below the pa that means you must go minus there you see understand so that's called the mandra stai if no dot what is that if no dot if you cannot see the dot that's a madhya stai sa pa sa that higher sa is the dot with the above note yeah the middle one is called the madhya stai middle octave okay did you understand abhi